Lee here, and welcome to the poll list for July 11, 2012, presented by LongboxRadio.com. I am currently uh, in my element, surrounded by long boxes full of comics. Uh, let's talk about this week's releases, uh, including from Dark Horse, we have Buffy, number 11, right there. Uh, going over to DC, we have Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's uh, epic finale to The Court of the Owls. So really looking forward to reading this one. And they got a Joker story coming up after that. So those guys have been knocking it out of the park. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Amazing. Great cover there, of course. Greg Capullo will be at Fan Expo here in Canada in uh, Toronto next month. So go check that guy out and get him uh, some commissions and whatnot. Uh, before Watchmen, I'm going to continue to read Minutemen because it was probably... I'd say one of the more solid or relevant uh, before Watchmen books I read out of the the four or so I read. Uh, so this is issue two. Darwin Cook do, do, Cook rather does the art and uh, writing on that one. Uh, there it is. There. Swamp Thing, another Scott Snyder book this week. Uh, this is number 11 here. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Yana Paquette no longer even on, uh, credited with any art for the book. It's now Marco Rudy, so we've got some new art going on, but they look to always be uh, emulating Yana Paquette's work, so cool stuff. The story's going to cool places now, too. Not that it hasn't been already. Uh, a book that I've really been pushing for is uh, Bionic Man. This is issue 10, uh, based on the Kevin Smith. I believe it was a screenplay or story he wrote to be turned into a television show, which never happened, which is a bummer, because it's a badass story. So if you have uh, even passing interest in the Bionic Man or just a really good action espionage, uh, just ass-kicking book. I definitely recommend this. When it comes out in trade, definitely grab it. I've really, really enjoyed this book, and I picked it up on a whim when it first started, so cool stuff. Uh, hey, all right. Congratulations to uh, Robert Kirkman and everybody on the uh, the Walking Dead team. You've reached issue 100, so this is cover A of 6 billion variants. Uh, I just got the one that kind of, you know, is flush with the rest of them, so there it is. Uh, something to fear. This is part four. You know something's going to happen here. Something's going to shake up the Walking Dead universe, so check it out. Uh, if you haven't been reading the book, I wouldn't say this is a jump-on point or anything like that, but uh, cool stuff. Big milestone for Walking Dead. 100 issues on, a, uh, on an independent book originally, so cool stuff. Um... The Avengers Versus, we have uh, we have issue four of six. Uh, this one's going to have Remender, I guess, writing the majority of it. We have uh, Daredevil and Psylocke, uh, as well as Thor and someone. I guess that's Emma Frost? Is that what she looks like now? Someone confirm that? or deny It's either that or Magic. I think it's Emma Frost. Regardless, uh, there it is. Cool book, has had some pretty cool art, and is more or less what I thought Avengers vs. X-Men was going to be, so that's that right there. Uh, going over to Marvel, we have Avenging Spider-Man, uh, starring Captain Marvel. Of course, this is uh, Miss Marvel. It's uh, Carol Danvers uh, taking on the the uh, the colors, so to speak, of Captain Marvel and becoming C Captain Marvel. Why not? So there it is, Avenging Spider-Man. Uh, not a lot of names I recognize on this. We got uh, the Dodsons, we got uh, DeConnick on writing, so cool stuff. Been a cool book. Uh, looking forward to reading that, actually. Dark Avengers, this is 177, coming to us from Jeff Parker, of course. Uh, and, and there she be. So still kind of weaning itself off being a Thunderbolts book. Uh, all the same has been a cool book, and uh, well, there it is. Defenders. Oh man, Matt Fraction writing. This has been a great book. Uh, just silly, kind of all over the place. Jamie McKelvey takes over art, and there's one person I love the art of. It's Jamie McKelvey. So this is really cool. Looking forward to reading it. Um, the the writing of Matt Fraction uh, in this book, I think, will lend itself very well to Jamie McKelvey's art. Uh, so right there, pick it up. If you haven't picked up this book and you're looking for something a little silly from Marvel, do it. If you have some extra money burning a hole in your pocket and whatnot. Uh, New Avengers coming to us from Bendis and uh, Diodato, of course. This is number 28. Hopefully moving away from the whole Phoenix Iron Fist thing. Uh, it's still a tie-in, so who knows, but uh, there it is. If you could drop one Avengers book right now, it would probably be New Avengers. Not because of the quality of it, just because it's not really about anything. Uh, and I think tie-ins really, really hurt everyone uh, in that regard. So Frank Terry, um, he thinks space needs a little punishing. So we got Space Punisher. It's a limited series. It's one of, of four I'm a big fan of the Punisher, so I mean, I had I had to pick up Space Punisher. I, you know, whether or not I pick up two, three, and four is up to the quality of this book, but I mean, it, Space Punisher. I, there's not much more to say. I don't. Spider Man number three, uh, Bendis and Pacelli, of course. This has been a great book. Probably one of my favorite limited series is going right now, or just comic books in general. Look for me to talk a lot more about this on the first Bag or Bin, which will be premiering today. So I'll be I'll be talking a little more about this book. Cool stuff. Great art. Great writing. Check it out, Spider Man. Da, 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 da. Uh, Ultimate Comics, issue 14. This is starting the Divided We Fall uh, event that's happening in the Ultimate Universe. Uh, so we have uh, Brian Wood taking over writing and whatnot. And there it is, Ultimate Comics X-Men. So, cool stuff. Venom, uh, from Remender, of course, is issue 20. I've uh, been loving this book since it started. So, this will be uh, this will be no way. Medina's name is coming up on a lot of books this week. Interesting. Wolverine and the X-Men. Now, we're changing up uh, we're changing up artists on this. We have uh, Jason Aaron still writing. Bradshaw's taking over the art. 
And I find with books, with characters that appear in multiple books, in this one, I mean, Wolverine, a lot of the X-Men characters appear in a lot of the X-Books or crossover or event books and whatnot. I find if you stick to one artist that has a little bit of a different style, that when you start reading the book, your brain clicks into what was happening in that storyline rather than what Wolverine's doing in 10 other books. So switching up an artist on this is always kind of a bummer for me, but Jason Aaron's staying on writing. It's been a pretty good arc, even though it is a tie-in to AVX, so looking forward to it all the same. Uh, and going over to Valiant, well, it is, of course, the summer of Valiant. So we got Bloodshot number one kicking off uh, right there, and we also have Harbinger number two. I liked Harbinger number one. Um, all the Valiant books... Exo Man War and stuff like that have been kicking some serious ass, so I'm uh, picking them all up as of right now. Uh, Archer and Armstrong still coming out, I think, next month or something like that. So there's uh, Harbinger, and that's all the books for this week. I haven't put away books in two months, so I have that stack over there. I got a f fat stack right here. I've got two more on a TV over here, so i got some work to do. But first, we're going to do a bag or bin. Uh, hopefully have a podcast to you this weekend, number 35, talk about all the books. And, of course, San Diego Comic-Con. Someone's already died, fell into traffic, and was hit by a car at the Twilight thing. So, you know, just crazy, crazy stuff happening over there. That is the pull list for July 11th. Lee signing out.